Also tonight, NBC 10 has new video showing the moment a woman opened fire inside a SEPTA bus full of passengers. The driver of the bus was killed. Police say that woman is under arrest, but this shooting has sparked even more questions about safety on SEPTA. NBC 10's Brian Sheehan is joining us now with the very latest. Brian. Yeah, Fred and Jackie, investigators are still trying to piece this together. The biggest question, what was the motive? Tonight, Bernard Gribben's picture lights up the board, billboard outside Transport Workers Union 234 in Northern Liberties. The fallen SEPTA employee lived in Abington with his wife and previously served our country. New surveillance video shows the frightening moments when a woman opens fire as she exits and then re-enters a SEPTA Route 23 bus this morning in Germantown, killing the driver. This is a, a very traumatic incident for, for the entire SEPTA family. Uh, quite, quite frankly, we're shell-shocked right now. SEPTA officials identify the 12-year employee and Army veteran as 48-year-old Bernard Gribben. But the bus drivers hit multiple times. Nobody else on the bus is reported injured. The incident happened on the 4600 block of Germantown Avenue just before 1030. Video shows the woman walking away before panicked riders exit the bus and run to safety. SEPTA's police chief says officers caught up with her a few blocks away and took her into custody. And then two transit police officers uh, observed her uh, in the parking lot of a Sunoco gas station. Ribbon's murder is on the minds of many SEPTA employees as the company prepares for a possible labor strike next week. Members of the company's largest union, Transit Workers Union 234, say they plan to walk off the job if the two sides cannot reach a new contract agreement. Many union workers, including one SEPTA bus driver, tell us safety is the top priority. How does SEPTA make the bus a safer? They can actually start off by, by putting bulletproof glass up. That's a step. You know, they, the guy got killed today, he didn't have no protection. He ain't stand a chance at all. SEPTA tells NBC 10 tonight that safety is its highest priority, adding that input from the TWU and other SEPTA unions are crucial as the company moves forward. Live in Northern Liberties tonight, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News. With that safety top of mind, Brian, thank you.